The preliminary walkthrough. The preliminary walkthrough for a commercial property inspection is really an excellent tool to help an inspector figure out their way through the building. Now what I mean by that is, a preliminary walkthrough has so many excellent features. One is a quick look at the building. Two, it's a way that you can find all of those hidden spaces, things like attics, basements, where the HVAC is located, where the thermostats are located. Another one is we have an opportunity to look for trip hazards or just the general feel of the building. Now, long before this preliminary walkthrough ever happened, you've already done your research on the building. You probably did that before the interview process, but you, you're gonna get on site and you just don't jump into the inspection. Because for most of us, this will be our first opportunity to really touch and feel and see this building in person. And so the preliminary walkthrough is not an inspection. I don't want it to be substituted as an inspection, but my thought of a preliminary walkthrough and what I've spent most of my career doing is using it to be my tool to know what I'm gonna inspect. So in doing that, it takes for this particular building minutes, not 15 minutes, not 10 minutes, probably less than that. I am literally gonna walk into this building and I'm gonna quickly assess where those areas are. I'm gonna have an opportunity to look at the ceilings. If I look at the ceiling and see there's a stained ceiling tile, that makes the roof that much more important for me. I can put that math together. And I'm gonna look for the attic space. I'm gonna find the basement. I'm gonna look for water entry. I'm gonna look to find where the HVAC is. And then at that point, I can start my inspection back outside. So my preliminary walkthrough is done both outside and inside. I could do the outside before my client got here. Real quick walk around the building and come back. And so when I do a preliminary walkthrough, it typically involves my greeting. It's setting the stage. When your client shows up to this inspection, maybe they're all excited. Maybe they're ready to jump into it, but they don't know what they're looking at yet. Well, this is a time for you to introduce yourself, set the stage for what's gonna happen, and then move in and do the walkthrough. You can invite them to come with you, which takes a little bit more time because they wanna ask you questions, or you can say, hi, my name's Rob. I'll be doing your inspection today. Before I get too far along, I'd like to run inside real quick, look at the building, see what we have to inspect, and then we'll get started back out here. If you don't have any other questions or do you have any other concerns, I'll get started with that. Would that be okay? In setting that stage, they can get the feeling of exactly who's in control and what you're doing. So with that, let's go run through the inside of this building real quick and I'll show you what I'm looking for. Now this inspection is of a condo office and so we're gonna concern ourselves with just this unit. So I'm gonna walk in the front door, I immediately walk in, get my bearings, see what we have. Now I'm gonna start at my ceilings. I notice stain. I'm gonna look at my windows. And I'm not spending any time. I'm just taking a mental inventory and a mental note. I'm gonna look at those windows. And then I'm gonna look through the room. Is it level? This is giving me my idea of structure. Again, spending no time at this. And then I'm gonna duck by this half of the building. And then I would migrate into the next room, spending again, seconds looking at this. I know the bathroom, here's our bathroom, and then I look in this closet and note this is where our HVAC is. I look in here and say here's where our electric panel is. I've got a timer maybe for my lights. And I look at the general condition and then I would move from this space to the next space, whatever that next space is. Let's go see if we can find that together. Then after I've left that space, I come to the next space. I've got a little kitchenette here. I'm looking for water stains. And then I come into this space. I've got my, my fire extinguisher. I'm looking around again for access points. And then this is where I find my attic access, my rear exit, and then I'm gonna locate my basement stairs. 
and I'll get to go downstairs and see what kind of exciting things we'll have down there. So I would come down the stairs, looking at all of this, holding the hand railing. I, by walking the stairs, not inspecting, I'm feeling the slope of the stair, as well as the height of the steps. I look at that, then we walk into the basement. And the first thing I wanna look for is water damage. And then in preliminary walkthroughs, I've always found it to be important to look at the foundation a little slower than the rest of it because it gives me a chance to get a good feel for our structure. By getting a good feel of the structure during the preliminary walkthrough, I have this opportunity that what if, what if we come down into this basement and there's a monster structural deficiency? I can bring that to the attention of my client right now versus two hours from now. And maybe right now that's enough that that's gonna be very interesting to them. But it gives me an opportunity to have, have that come up. I look for moisture, again, I'm looking at my structure, and then I'll go back upstairs, I'll go meet my client again, I'll shake their hand again if they want to, or I'll just say, so I've done my preliminary walkthrough, I've identified where the furnace is, where the electric is, where my attic is, I know where everything's at, I've taken a good feel for everything, I saw a stain in the ceiling we better address during the attic, why don't we get started with the inspection? So again, I think the preliminary walkthrough is an excellent tool for an inspector and certainly something that doesn't take a whole lot of time, a whole lot of effort, but gives a tremendous amount of benefit. Consider a preliminary walkthrough on your next inspection. The exterior portion of the preliminary walkthrough, again, is not the inspection. It's a walkthrough. And so I'm looking to identify the major things that I want to make sure that I note my head for future. Things like cracking of the brick, look at the condition of the soffit, I'm double checking the windows. One of the things on the, on the ComSop is we don't have to identify thermal panes, but we're supposed to identify obviously failed windows. By doing that right now during the preliminary walkthrough, I'm just getting a general condition before my brain starts going on overload during the inspection process. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look for any safety hazards. That might even be things like flying insects, wasps and bees. You know, if there's areas I can't get to, this is what we're gonna to try to identify during the preliminary walkthrough. So we'll continue that around this entire building. So then I would walk around the entire building. I'm gonna look again for drainage. I'm gonna look at the siding, the roof drainage, the windows. Oh, I've identified where the sewer cleanout is. I'm looking at places I can't get to. I'm gonna have very, a very high difficulty rating going through here. It's gonna to be tough for me to get past all these bushes, but I look over here to see what we have. It looks like I have a sprinkler control. It looks like I have some low voltage, like cable TV or phone line. So I look down the building and then I'll walk around a little bit wider because that's where I can't get to. Again, I'm gonna look at the side. I look at the holes on the side of the building. That's most likely for a previous sign that used to be here. And I just general feel as I walk around the rest of the building. So I think I'll go down this drainage area, see what this is, because as part of the preliminary walkthrough, maybe my client's not here, and I see this wonderful drainage position. I ought to figure out what this is doing. I see the trough over here. I see another trough. Oh. This is by design to hold water. So I better get my thoughts together on what I'm gonna describe with this to my clients. And then uh, I'll continue down the entire length of the building. Let's see what we have down there. So as part of the inspection of this building, we, this is a condo space, but it's the whole entire building. And we're gonna look at the entire exterior, but I'm only gonna concentrate on this unit's mechanicals. And so I would walk around, that's this unit here. And so I'm gonna stop, address the condition that this mechanical unit is sitting, just roughly, make sure that it looks like it's a safe condition and if I turn it on, or if it's able to be tested inside, I can. And then I'll just continue to walk. I look at the service door. I know to myself, we've got a lot of flying insects, bees, etc. A little bit of ivy, nice slope. I've got this huge retaining wall. 
take a quick look and make sure that it looks plumb and square. And I just get my general impression. Again, my unit's down there, but I want to look at everything. I got an open box I want to talk about. I've got these other drainage wells that are here, and I'm just going to get my feel. It's a quick walk for me. I note my little trip hazard that I might have here. And then I, I try formulating my plan on how I'm going to go through here because it was a little difficult over there. I want to make sure I go down there. So I'm getting my whole plan. And then I find my gas meter. As part of the inspection, uh, I do inspect gas meters. I'm not inspecting right now, but I just took a mental note of there's four gas meters, four tenants. Wait, they're not labeled, so I'll make sure. I'm just trying to get my plan that I want to make sure that I hit everything I got to hit for my clients. Let's see what the other side gives us. I think it's going to be just as fun. So then I would, I'm walking around this last side of the building, watching the drainage. Oh, and here's our electric. Start thinking about all my electric rules. And then I start thinking about, you know, okay, I got some labeling here, so I'll double check that. Well, when we come back and do the inspection, I got some problems with the bushes. They're a little close. Watching my windows, watching my siding. This is just a quick walk. That's all it is. If this exterior of this building, and this is probably a 13,000 square foot building, I wouldn't spend more than four or five minutes walking around the exterior of this property. I'm not inspecting. I'm just getting my bearings so I can make my plan. And making a plan makes an inspection go perfect. So again, do an exterior preliminary walkthrough before you do anything on your inspections.